Hey guys, Becky here with Creative Fabrica, and I'm super excited to have you join me today because we have another fabulous tutorial for Cricut Design Space. Now, if you're a Cricut fan, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. That way you always get notified of our latest and greatest videos. But for today, guys, I'm gonna teach you how to make your very own distressed designs. All right guys, so here we are in Cricut Design Space. And of course I just have a blank canvas open here for you, but we are going to upload a few elements to work with today. So let's go ahead and jump on in. We wanna click on the upload button down here at the bottom, upload image, browse, and then what I want to go ahead and select are my grunge frames. Now, these are called grunge frames, but you know, I always refer to this style as distressed. And this is what we're looking at here. Now it does come with this little text, but that's okay, we can delete it. And of course we have four different frames to choose from. Now, I'm not using these frames exactly. We are going to use them in conjunction with some other files. And let me show you how and why you would want to do that. Now these files can be a little large, so you have to be a little bit more patient with your computer if it takes a while for them to upload, okay? So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and ungroup and we can delete the text because right away we absolutely do not need that. And then you notice if I click on this, I have groups of these different pieces. Okay. Now that's important because what you actually want to do while they're grouped and I appreciate that we want to weld them together. So we're going to select the one that we want to work with, which is going to be not these. We'll work with this one and then we want to go ahead and weld okay because it's important that those aren't individual pieces anymore we want to weld them together so that they're all part of the same piece because we're going to be using the slice tool and you guys may remember that you cannot use the slice tool unless your pieces unless your pieces are welded together you can only slice two items. Okay. So since all these are individual items, we're going to weld them into one item so that we can use that slice tool. Okay. So there we go. One basic cut weld. Now let's go ahead and just start with a basic shape and you know what, let's do a heart, just a cute little heart and let's make it red and we're going to send to back. And then what I want to do is I'm going to make this frame the same or similar size and arrange it however I want to arrange it. So then you select both of these and you slice. Now, again, this may take a minute, just like the welding did, but that's okay. We can be patient. And there are all of our little slice results. Now I'm going to take the original frame over to the side um, and just slowly start piecing it apart. And this is our new little distressed heart. Now I know what you're thinking, uh, Becky, not a whole lot to look at, but you can keep distressing as much or as little as you want. Okay. Now this one, obviously we use a square frame and a heart shaped object. So maybe not the result that you were looking for, but it still definitely worked. And I could reline this up with the frame and slice again, if that's what I wanted to do. Now let's move this over to the side. And we're going to get rid of these other slice results. Okay. So we're going to move on to something a little bit more complex. Let's go back to upload. We are going to bring in a separate SVG file. And we're just going to select both the flag and our grunge frames again, so that we can choose a new one. So we're going to ungroup our frames again. And then which one do we want to select this time? Let's go ahead and go with this one here. We can select the rest of this and delete. Now this time we will change, well, we need to go and weld this together. So once the weld is complete, we're going to change it to a different color. Let's just do a gray. And then I am going to rotate it counterclockwise two times. So we are going to say, 180 degrees. So I say counterclockwise two times. Really, you could go either way because we're just flipping it. And then my flag is 
let's see, let's make it an even six inches wide. So it's six by 3.144, six by 3.144. Now I can select both of these, align, center. I get just a little bit of a preview of exactly where this is gonna be. I chose the least distressed side to be over here with the stars, just because, and then more distressing around the stripes. So we know what to do at this point. We're going to go ahead and, well, just kidding. <laughs> we have to weld these together. Remember, I told you guys, we got to make sure that we're only slicing two items. And now select both of these and slice. And with the slice result, same thing. We can go ahead and start piecing it out. So that's going to be my finished flag. And then these are all the other pieces. So we can just select all of that and delete. So we have one distressed flag, one distressed heart. And now let's talk about, and of course, if you guys notice, we're just doing the literally the same thing over and over each time. So this process is really quite simple. We're going to select one more file back to upload image and this baseball heart because it's multiple layers. So I'm going to do a little bit of distressing to one and then just show you how it can really kind of change up the look. So we're going to ungroup. We actually don't need the numbers so we can select the numbers and just delete those. So this is the actual SVG file that we're working with. So we're going to size it down, make it a little bit more manageable. So if you guys notice over here, we have three layers. We have the black outline. We have the um, red baseball stitches, and then we have actually a white background. Okay, and that white background is what I want to distress today. So we can divide up everything else, and that's what we're working with. So let's go back and grab our grunge frames, our distressed frames. Now you may or may not know, but we do a lot of baseball in my house. So being able to switch up the designs uh, for me is really important, makes them a little bit more personal. And I'm still going to, you know what, we'll do, we'll select the second one this time. But I am going to copy and paste, and I just used Control C and Control V on my keyboard. And I could have done that after I welded, now that I think about it. <laughs> so I'm gonna select the unwelded one and just delete. And look, if you guys don't know the, the keyboard shortcuts, all you're going to do is go to edit, copy, edit, and paste, or you could do that. There's a duplicate button on there, but I, I'm used to copy and paste. So that's often what I do. All right. So we're going to slide that one out of the way because I'm going to do what I promised you guys. And we're going to distress more than once. So I'm going to make this of a similar size. And I will select both of these and slice it out. All right, so once the slicing is done, we're going to delete all of the pieces. All right, so this is slice number one. So I'm gonna grab it and I will rotate this guy. Let's just do 45 degrees. Because what I wanna do is get a little distressing down here at the bottom. Oh, I want it the other way. All right, there we go. So now I can, here, let's try out that duplicate, just in case I want to distress a third time. I don't have to import it and go through um, the welding all over again. So we're going to send our hearts back Make this a little larger because I want this distressing to be at the bottom of the heart. I need to make my grunge frame a little bigger because I don't want it to look weird all of a sudden on these corners if I have a straight line from the square frame. So we'll select both of these and slice. All right, so let's change this to a different color. I don't know about you guys, but the, the black line doesn't do it for me. Let's just make it yellow and we're going to switch to a print then cut. And same with this one. Now the print then cut, I wouldn't leave it like that when I go to cut. It's just to illustrate 
There we go. So it's just a little bit of distressing. Here, let's see. Let's do this instead. Let's turn that back to white. I was just kidding you guys. I am going to go ahead and get rid of this other frame because I'm not going to use it. But using the print then cut um, allows me to get rid of that dark thick line. So now I can just switch my canvas color. And with the contrast you can see a little bit more of that distressing going on. So now I will say this. This may not be ideal for cutting with vinyl because obviously all these little pieces are not going to play well with your vinyl cutter as far as cutting in fine detail and those sorts of things. It'll work better on heat transfer vinyl, but not only will it not cut super great, but it's not going to be really easy to weed either. So just keep that in mind. But anybody who is creating printables or printing sublimation, those sorts of things, this is a really, really useful trick. And you can use it with vinyl. Just be prepared to be like we were patient with the software, be patient with your machine and patient with your weeding. But Hopefully you guys enjoyed this process. So guys, how did you feel about our super easy tutorial today on distressing your own designs? Now, hopefully you saw just how easy it was. Like I said, it does tax some of the resources on your computer because those grunge files can be considered a little large, but definitely worth it. I recommend experimenting with it as soon as you can because there are a lot of really great fun designs that you can make. Now, of course, if you have any questions or comments, definitely make sure you leave those down below. I love to hear from you guys. I love to learn how you're doing. But for today, I am going to wrap it up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, maybe share with a crappy friend. That way we can keep bringing you these really awesome videos. But guys, I just appreciate you stopping by. It means a lot to me. And we'll see you again next time.